hey guys welcome back to my channel for this video i'll be explaining the introductory aspect of bearings and we know that bearings basically the measure of an angle in degrees from the north line in a clockwise direction all right guys and so all this direction comes from the cardinal point and we know we have four cardinal points north south east and west and so having these four points we are able to tell what each of them represents in degrees. And so for the north line, we have zero, that's a starting point. And so this line, line here represents zero degrees. And so in a clockwise direction, the first angle you will stop at is at the east direction, which is 90 degrees. And so from zero to the east is 90 and therefore so from zero to north from north to south would be 180 and so each of these quadrants you see here represents 90 degrees guys and so so 0 and 90 is 90 plus 90 give you 180 and that's how it comes with the west 90 plus 90 plus 90 results in 270 and that's how we get the west and 90 plus 90 plus 90 and another 90 will give us the 360 back where we are coming from and so guys having this understanding that's where the line the, the concept about angles at a point equal to 360 actually came about and so once we understand where the different directions are and what they measure we can simplify any given question one more thing, guys, is that when we are drawing our, direct, our, our north line, we need to ensure that that is where we are starting from. Because some persons will start from anywhere, but they have to start from the north line, guys. And this is basically up to you where you want to draw your north line. There's no exact way of drawing your north line. All right, guys? So let's get right into it. We also need to know that bearings have three digits. And so if you see 75 degrees on your diagram, you need to have 075. If you see an angle of four degrees, you need to have 004 degrees for your angle. All right, guys. And so north lines are parallel to each other. And so the distance should be each other should result in a in them being parallel and so this line is parallel to this line and so this line we can call the transversal line that separates the two parallel lines all right guys and so with that said we can identify co-interior angles and we know that co-interior angles form between two parallel lines all right guys and this add up to 180 degrees and so if this angle here is 75 degrees, this angle here should be a number added to 75 to, to, to re, that will result in 180. And so to find this solution for the angle here, guys, it's going to be 180 subtract 75, which, is result, which, which will result in 105 degrees. And so this angle here represents 105 degrees and so guys we need to know about co-interior angles and angles at a point but for now i'm going to explain to you the co-interior aspect of it all right guys so let's get right into another question so if we're after the diagram for the following bearing that says up the plane p from airport a is 175 the first thing we need to do, guys, is to draw our north line. All right? And so from this north line, you tell your particular direction. And so we have the, the angle of one, 175. So we know east would be 90 degrees and south will be 180 degrees. And so 175 will be between the south and the east. But remember, it's starting from the north line. And so... What we have to do is to, from the north, we draw a 
we basically draw our 175 degrees. And so this region here represents the 175 degrees. Another one, a bearing from of 40 degrees, guys. And so we draw our north, our north line again, which is going to be our starting point. And 40 degrees will be between 0 and 90 degrees. And so 40 will be it's a small angle between 0 and 90 degrees, which will be this aspect. And so it's always a direction from the north line. And for example, this one, guys, that says that aircraft flies on a bearing of 50 degrees from M for 90 kilometers to N. And so again, we draw our north line. We identify. What I normally tell my kids they can do is to just line up the cardinal point with the degrees that they know. And so they will identify where the 50 degree will fall. So 50 will be between 0 and 90. So 50 will be somewhere right here. And mine is not drawn to scale, guys, so don't penalize me. 50 degree will be somewhere right here. And so they say from M to N. And so the starting point here would be M. And where you stop will be N. And so this distance from M to M is 90 kilometers. And so 90 kilometers will be on this transversal line here. Why I say transversal line? Because if I wanted to leave from N to go back to M, I'll draw another north line here to indicate my starting point. Then I'll go around in a clockwise direction. And we know that between two north lines, we'll have the, trans we have the transversal line from which we can take the co-interior angles and I just established that co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. And so if this angle here is 50, this angle here would be 130 degrees. And if this angle is 130 degrees, to find the angle around here, you'll have to say angle at a point is equal to 360 degrees. So 360 subtract 130 will be what? 230? And so the angle from N to M will be 230 degrees. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching. In the next video, I'll explain to you back bearing because this is a struggle for most persons. And I'll try to explain that in details for you. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, share, and comment on the video. Let me know if you understand what I explained and what else I can explain for you in future videos. All right, guys.